Hello everyone, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to do glitter text using um, the add noise feature that comes with PSP. The first thing you want to do is open a new image of course. I'm going to be doing 600 by 300, you can do whatever size works for you. I'm just doing this as an example. You want to make sure it's on a raster background and transparent. Okay. Once you open your image, you want to go ahead and choose your font and your size and your stroke width. I'm going to be using go, go, go and at size 48 and my stroke width is going to be 4. You can do more or less depending on the font you're using and how thick you really want the stroke to be. I want it to really pop so I'm going to be using 4, maybe 5, I, don't, I haven't really decided yet. Let's see how it looks. So once you type out your text, oh yeah, I almost forgot, you want to make sure that your background color is transparent and you do that by clicking on this little circle with a line through it. So you should only have the foreground color so that your text will look something like this. As you can see I have an outline. Now if you are not happy with the size of the outline, which I think by standard it would look something like this, just go ahead and fix your stroke width, which I'm going to do 5. Make it thicker. Next thing you want to do is duplicate. Just right click and duplicate that layer. And on the bottom vector layer, go ahead and double click on the little A. And you're going to unhide the background color and hide the foreground color. So your materials palette should look something like this. Then you want to go ahead and apply. So you should have two layers. The top layer should be the outline and the bottom layer should be the fill. Okay. So next we're going to go ahead and work with the outline. I'm going to go ahead and add a bevel. Which is going to be the same um, settings I always use. Um, the bevel, the second one, width 10, smoothness 25, depth 5, ambience negative 27, shininess 35, angle 135, intensity 35, and elevation 60, and a color of white. Okay, then um, you can leave it just like that or you can add any other effects you may like. I'm going to add a glass effect with a slight drop shadow I'm going to do 5 and an opacity of 75 so if you have um, eye candy 5 impact you can use these settings as you can see I'm using bevel with 4.22 opacity 20 tinting 50 refraction 100 drop shadow opacity 75 and offset 5 with a glass color of white. So it should look something like this. Okay, once you have your outline however you want it, you want to go ahead to your second vector layer and you want to convert to raster. Then you want to go ahead and duplicate it twice. So you have a total of three um, fill layers and one outline layer. So then you want to click on the first fill layer and you want to go to adjust, add remove noise, and add noise. And you want to set it to um, uniform, make sure that monochrome is checked, and we're going to do the first one at a setting of 50. And press OK. So it should look something like this. Then you want to hide that layer click on the second fill layer and you want to go to adjust, add noise, and set your noise to 75. And it should look something like that. Then you want to hide that layer, click on the third layer, adjust, add noise, and set your noise to 100. Of course you can um, add different noise amounts. I usually use the same settings when I do this but you always want to make sure that on every layer it's a different number 
Okay, so then you want to hide the last layer and unhide the first layer. So you have your outline layer and your first noise layer visible and then you have your other two noise layers hidden. Then you want to go ahead and copy merged. Open up animation shop and you want to paste as new animation. And there you go. As you can see there's way too much room here but we will fix that later. Okay, so next you want to hide that first animation layer and unhide the second one. Copy merged and paste after current frame. So you have two frames. Then you want to hide that layer and unhide the last layer. You copy merged and paste after current frame. And there you have your glitter. As you can see, it's a little bit too fast for my liking and there's way too much room. If you want to use your crop tool in animation shop and just draw around your thing, your your image and then double click so you get something like this then you want to change your settings um, if you want to leave it like that you can I want mine to be a little bit different so I'm going to do the middle frame I'm going to do 15 and you do that by going to animation and then frame properties so I set mine to 15 and then for the outside layers I'm going to set them to 13 so it's simple you just click on the frame go to animation frame properties and then change the number so we have 13 15 13 let's see okay that is a little bit more to my liking so there you go that is how you make glitter tags um if you have any questions let me know i'd be more than happy to help so um yeah have fun with it guys bye